Um, hello. Oh, that didn't work. There we are. I am a very lazy frost mage, and I think my rotation is far too complicated. And ultimately, what I want to do is just press and hold one button while uh, my rotation does itself, and I can watch YouTube videos on my second monitor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use auto hotkey and weak auras to completely automate my rotation. I'm going to use weak auras to represent conditions, and I'm going to use auto hotkey to respond to those conditions and select the right spell to cast. So here is my auto hotkey script and... I'm going to use the letter F on the keyboard because uh, it's the home key for my uh, left index finger. And I don't want to keep having to press that one button over and over again. So I'm going to create a while loop. And uh, we're going to check the key state of the key we're pressing, F. And then while we're doing that, I'm just going to repeatedly cast Frostbolt. And then we're going to sleep for a tenth of a second so that uh, we don't keep sending key presses uh, too frequently. Now, I actually want to be able to keep using that F key if I need to type anything in the future. So... Um, we're going to uh, create a button that just suspends the script. Uh, so we need to create a little suspend exempt section. And find a useful key, F11. Uh, and then just suspend the script. And return. Nice one. Uh, so we're going to we're going to run this, see if it works, and it appears to run perfectly. Just pressing and holding F, it's constantly casting Frostbolt. Now, as we're casting Frostbolt, we've got a number of procs coming up. We've got Fingers of Frost for Ice Lance, and we've got Brain Freeze for Frost Firebolt. And I, uh, again, I'm, I'm very lazy. I don't want to have to press anything. I don't even want to look at the screen. I want to be watching a video on my second monitor. And I want those things to happen automatically. So uh, we're going to stop casting Frostbolt. We are going to create some conditions in weak auras. So let's uh, load up weak auras. Uh, we're going to make it nice and clean by putting everything in a group. We're going to create a texture. Uh, we're going to call it Fingers of Frost. Uh, it's only going to display when the player's got a buff called Fingers of Frost. And we're going to make it display a more usable texture, which is in the shapes category, and it's a big square. So we can move that over here. We're going to do the same for brain uh, freeze. And uh, we're going to move it just down. And we're going to change the trigger to brain freeze. Very good. Uh, OK, so. As we continually cast Frostbot, these squares should appear as the relevant spell or buff uh, procs. Yeah, there we are. Both of them working perfectly fine. And then as they're gone, they should disappear. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Okay, so now we need to... Uh, check 
to see if those boxes are present. And if they are, we need to stop sending one and then we need to send the corresponding key press. So we're gonna go back to our auto hotkey script and uh, we need to find out where those boxes are on the screen. So I'm gonna create another hotkey and this one is gonna call a function mouse get pause and uh, it's gonna oops It's going to store the mouse location in those variables. Uh, then it's going to create a message box. And it's just going to tell us um, Oops. There we are. And then after that, I want to maybe, I don't know, know the color of the pixel as well. Yeah. Nice one. So when we press uh, F9, there we are. We've got the mouse X position, the mouse Y position, and the color of the pixel beneath the pointer location. So uh, we need to write a function that uh, looks for those squares that we loaded. Fingers of frost here is in this position and Uh, let's write fingers of frost function. Uh, what we want to know is if that pixel's active. So we'll write another function, pixel active, and we'll pass it x and y. And we'll return um, uh, pixel get color, yeah, uh, x and y. And then what we actually want to know is if that pixel is white. Uh, okay, so when we do call fingers of frost, we actually just want to check those coordinates, 801, 625, um, return, nice, and we're going to do the same with brain freeze, oh, yeah, nice, return, pixel active, and we're just going to check the location of brain freeze, which is here. Um, eight, five, six, eight, nine, three. Okay. And we're going to change our um, F hotkey. So instead of just sending one all the time, uh, we're going to do an if statement. And the condition is just going to be fingers of frost. It's a function, so at the end parentheses. And in the case that fingers of frost returns true, we're going to send 
uh, two and else if brain freeze we're gonna return three and if nothing if none of those conditions return true we're just gonna keep firing a frost bolt and we're gonna run that and we're going to test it by holding down F. And there we go, Frost Firebolt. Back to Frostbolt. And hopefully this isn't going to take a long time for Fingers of Frost to come up. There's Frost Firebolt again. There's Fingers of Frost. And it's fired the Ice Lance. So that is working perfectly. Okay. Um that's 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 pretty much all you need to know. Actually, um we uh have a key while it's depressed, it checks these conditions, fingers of frost, fingers of frost which checks if the pixel's active. Uh, the function here literally just checks if the pixel at the uh, given coordinates is white, and if it is, it returns true. So it uh, it sends a relevant um, key press, uh, and then it sleeps for a tenth of a second, and then it just repeats itself. Uh, it's a very very easy way to uh, completely completely automate your. Uh, spell rotation in a tank and spank fight in any fight really um, you're going to be able to create uh, conditions with weak auras just using the the triggers tab you can create multiple triggers you can create custom triggers if you uh, know a little bit of lua um, it's that easy Honestly, uh, and I think that's that's pretty much mission accomplished for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.